Pearl Illusion Necklace, you'll need 15 pearls. These are five millimeters, and these are just fresh water pearls. Then you need crimp beads. We're using 32 crimp beads in gold. They're size number one, and they come in this funny little tube usually, which makes it nice and handy, easy to, easy to use. We're gonna build our necklace on bead stringing wire. This is 19 strand, and it's gold. To finish the ends, we're going to use two clamshell bead tips in gold. We'll also use a lobster clasp and a jump ring for the end. For tools, you'll need chain nose pliers, wire cutters, and you'll also need a ruler. To make the necklace, the first thing you'll want to do is cut a 20 inch piece of bead stringing wire. And then we're going to start our beading. To do that, I'm going to take one of my tiny crimp beads and feed that on to the wire. And this is the hardest part because they're so teeny. There we go. So I'm feeding on one crimp bead, followed by a pearl, and then another crimp bead. And now I want to slide those to the center of my bead stringing wire. So to do that, I'm just holding the two ends together and I'm just sliding these down so they're at the center of the bead stringing wire, like that. And now I want the pearl and those crimp beads to stay right where they are. So what I'm gonna do is take my chain nose pliers, reach in and I'm gonna crimp the crimp bead that's on the left side first. You can do either side, but I'm just starting with the left. And to crimp it, I'm just basically going to flatten it right on to the bead stringing wire just by pressing hard. And you can always sort of test it to make sure it's staying still, and it is. And now I'm going to slide my pearl right next to that crimp bead. And you can let gravity help you by tilting um, the bead stringing wire a little bit so that the beads all line up. Now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers again, and I'm going to crimp the crimp bead or flatten the crimp bead on the other side of the pearl. And the trick with this is that you don't want any gaps between your crimp and your pearl. So just make sure you've got it up nice, nice and close. And what those crimp beads are doing is they're holding this pearl in place. And that's sort of what makes this illusion necklace uh, look so magical as these beads appear to be floating on the bead stringing wire. Kind of cool. So that's going to be our center bead. And what I like to do is I like to do my center bead first and then measure out on each side. So I'll bead one side and then bead the other side. So I'm gonna bead the right side first. I'm gonna go out to the end of my bead stringing wire here and I'm gonna feed on a crimp bead. And actually I'm gonna show you a little trick instead of picking it up with my fingers. This is cool. I'm gonna use the chain nose pliers to pick up the crimp bead because this size number one is teeny tiny. So now what I can do is kind of hold it still and feed the bead stringing wire up through the middle of it. And I'm gonna keep holding onto the crimp bead with my chain nose pliers so that then I can just slide it to where I want it, roughly, on my necklace. And now I'm gonna to go to my little cheat sheet that I made. So this little cheat sheet here is three quarters of an inch. And I made the cheat sheet because I find it really challenging to keep looking back at a ruler and finding a measurement. It's just, it's futzy, especially when you've got beads that could fly off the end of your necklace. So instead I made the cheat sheet and what I'm gonna do is hold up my crimp bead to the one line and the one that I haven't crimped yet, I'm gonna hold with my chain nose pliers on the other line and I'm gonna flatten it right in place, just like that. So now I've got two crimp beads on my necklace and one pearl. So that means the next thing I want to do is slide on a pearl. So I'll slide on the next pearl. And pearls are no notorious for having a very, very small hole drilled through them usually. So you'll want to be sure to test your pearls with your bead stringing wire to make sure that all of your pearls fit. We went through and tested these and there were, there were a bunch that we ended up setting aside for a different project because they didn't quite fit um, on the bead stringing wire. So there's my second pearl. Now I want to slide on another crimp bead and I'm going to do it the same way I did before because I think that's just faster. I've got my chain nose pliers holding my crimp bead. Slide that bead string and wire through the crimp bead. 
slide it down to where my pearl is. And this time I don't need to measure anything. I just want to crimp on the other side of my pearl. So again, I'm going to let gravity help me. I'm tilting my necklace up a little bit so that that crimp sits right next to the pearl. So now I'm going to just reach in with my chain nose pliers and flatten that crimp bead right where it is right next to that pearl. Again, we don't want any gaps between the pearl and the crimp beads because we don't want any play there. We want it to hold the pearl right nice and tight right where it is. So now I'm going to do exactly what I just did one more time. I'm going to take a crimp bead in my chain nose pliers, slide my bead stringing wire through the bead, and I'm going to slide it down to just about where I want it. And now I want to go down to my little cheat sheet that I did, and this is 3 quarters of an inch. So I'm going to measure from the crimp I just did to the new crimp that I'm holding in my chain nose pliers, measuring 3 quarters of an inch away from that last crimp bead, and I'm going to press to flatten that crimp. And I want to just press again to make sure it's nice and tight on there. And now I can slide on my next pearl. And you'll see that once you get the hang of this, that's just essentially all you're doing to make this necklace till you get to the ends. So it can go together pretty quickly. And you can use any beads you like. We just thought that it would look lovely to do an illusion necklace with these pearls. So I'm just going to keep repeating what I'm doing over and over until I've got the whole piece of bead stringing wire beaded with pearls and held together with the crimp beads. And then I'm going to show you how to finish the ends. We finished adding all of our pearls to our bead stringing wire and now we're ready to finish the ends. And this is super simple. We love this technique. We're going to use a clamshell bead tip and a crimp bead just like we've been doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is slide one of the clamshell bead tips onto my bead stringing wire. And what I'm doing is I'm feeding the bead stringing wire sort of up into the cup of the little clamshell bead tip or into the open clam. And I'm going to let that just slide down. I'll position it in a minute. Now I'm going to get one of my crimp beads again, like I did before. I'm going to pick it up using my chain nose pliers, and I'm going to slide that on my bead stringing wire. And I'm going to use this same measurement that I did before because I want this crimp bead to be about the same distance, or actually the same distance, that all of these crimp beads are on the whole necklace and I'm going to flatten it right in place. And I like to slide the crimp bead further into the pliers and press again just to make sure that it's definitely crimped and flattened onto the bead stringing wire. And that gives me just a little more leverage. Now what I want to do is trim the wire right next to that flattened crimp bead using my wire cutters, just like that. And now I can take my clamshell bead tip and slide it up the bead stringing wire until that crimp bead is nestled inside the clamshell. And now I'm just going to close that clamshell over the crimp bead using my chain nose pliers. And to do that, I'm just gently going to press it closed. And the um, clamshell bead tip is kind of delicate because it's um, open in the middle. So it's hollow, so you don't want to press too hard because you can ding it. So there, that's nice and closed. And now I'm going to take, I think I'll start with the lobster clasp. I'm going to put my lobster clasp into the open loop of the clamshell bead tip. And I'm going to use my pliers to just rotate that little loop there closed. And now we have one side of our clasp on our necklace already. So now we'll just go to the other side and do essentially the same thing we just did. I'm going to take my clamshell bead tip and I'm going to feed the bead stringing wire up through the bottom of the clamshell like that and then I'm just going to let it fall down to wherever it lands. I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to pick up the crimp bead and slide it on to the bead stringing wire and now I want to go to my little cheat sheet and I'm just going to move that clamshell out of the way, kind of ignore it. And I'm going to flatten that crimp right at the mark. Give it a little extra squeeze there. 
And now I'm going to trim right next to that crimp bead using my wire cutters. And I'm going to slide my clamshell bead tip up over that crimp bead. So now the crimp is inside the clamshell. Use my chain nose pliers to gently press that clamshell closed over the crimp. And now I'm going to take my jump ring, slide it onto the open loop on the clamshell bead tip, and then rotate that loop closed using my chain nose pliers, just like that. And now I can clasp my necklace here with this lobster clasp. And that is our beautiful pearl illusion necklace. So pretty. Mm -hmm.